Hey y'all, welcome back to another video. Today I will be unboxing and using this gorgeous hat press. I added these pictures from the site to show you what to expect as I unbox it. Today is the day guys, I have been waiting on. I'm super excited. Oh guys, she has arrived. Okay, now let's bust this thing down real quick. I can't get it open fast enough. Okay, now she's open, and the first thing I see is an envelope that says, Open Me First. I thought I had a birthday card in here. To, it was a, a welcome card and the instructions to the um, hat press. Okay, and I'm guessing this is the extra interchangeable lower plate that goes on the hat press. I guess you can swap them out for a bigger one or a smaller one depending on the hat size. And this is just some hardware, uh, Allen key and some screws. Okay, let's move that out the way and open this thing. Oh my gosh, she is gorgeous. I cannot wait to pull it out the box. Okay, she came already put together, so all I did was plug it up and turn it on to 400 degrees in 30 seconds. And I've already printed out my sublimation design that I'm gonna apply to my hat. And now I'm just gonna cut it out. And usually I don't cut the design out because I don't like the harsh lines that it leave after I heat press it. But the designs are so close together, I didn't want to run the risk of cutting part of the design. And Lord knows, I don't know why I printed this out in Cricut Design Space, because I didn't even need the registration marks. So I was just wasting ink right there, being anxious. Okay, here I'm going to pull the lever down so it can heat the bottom of the plate. And since I'm sublimating, I'm going to go ahead and use my lint roller to get out any extra lint or dust that may be on the hat. Now this is the lever that you use to keep the hat secure and tight while you press it. So now I'm going to put the hat on and pull the lever to tighten and secure the hat on the hat press. And here I'm just adjusting it to get it like right in the middle so I can apply the image on. So here's the image. But then I'm noticing the image is too big. So now I have to cut the bottom of the image off. I'm going to apply it later. So I'm just gonna cut off the extras around the image just to make sure that I have enough room. And by the way, the image is 3.5 in height and 4.5 in width. So here I'm pre-pressing the hat, but right here is where it all goes wrong. You see where the, the plate at the top is on the bill of the hat? It's going to kind of burn the hat. I'll show you guys later. Oh, 
Okay, right here is where I burned the bill of the hat because I had the hat back too far. And as you can see right here, I'm pulling the hat forward just so the top plate doesn't touch the bill of the hat. And I'm going to try to use some heat resistant tape. Even though I was told not to use heat resistant tape because it leaves marks after you press it. But I want to kind of do both just to see for myself. So now I'm getting ready to tape the image to the center of the hat. And here's my butcher paper that I'm going to use to protect my heat press from possibly getting ink on it. And this is the other part of my image that I'm going to apply next. And by the way, this hat is a Cricut brand hat. It's a Cricut brand sublimation hat. Okay, the verdict is in. Let's see what happens. Okay, y'all, besides that little burn on the bill of the hat, those colors came out wonderful. I cannot believe that this looks like this. Oh, my God. And right here, I'm noticing a little spot on the hat. I don't know what it is, but I'm trying to scrape it off, and it's not working. But overall, the colors turned out very nice. Okay, now so I'm going to apply the second part of the image. But this time I'm going to apply the image to the top of the hat because I'm not taking any chances with burning the bill of the hat again. Okay, let's see what happens. Okay, turned out very good. Actually, much better than I thought. What y'all know about that all day, every day, St. Louis type of stuff? Huh? Hey, hey. <laughs> Okay, let's move along to the red hat. Okay, this hat I purchased off Amazon. It has like a soft polyester feel to it. I wanted to see how good it holds up sublimation ink versus the Cricut brand. So now I'm just going to tape the image on.
And what I noticed about this hat, right where the brim starts, it's already curved. Unlike the Cricut hat where it had like an oval shape to it versus this one has like a circle shape that goes along with the heat press. So I think I'm going to stick to these hats depending on how the ink holds up on it. So let's see. Yeah, look at this. I didn't even cut the plastic off the handle. Lord, I was so anxious to open this thing and, and get it going. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, y'all, it's time for the big reveal. And I already see ghosting at the top before I even take the doggone image off. Very pretty colors, though. What I should have did was just uh, did one at a time with the images instead of trying to do both at the same time. Because that led me to putting the image up too high, which left ghosting because it was hanging off the, the plate of the press. The ghosting is that little shadowy looking part at the top. Which next time I know to lay the images on there separately. Basically take my time. <laughs> so y'all leave a comment down below and let me know which hair you think turned out the best. Besides the mistakes that were made. These some other hats that I made once I got really good with the hat press. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure you check out my other videos on the art of sublimation. And please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. See you in the next video.